Okay, what are you guys doing this morning besides watching Legions of Steel? Quickly, a uh, a happy 4th of July to all the Americans here uh, currently, myself included. Um, to the British viewers, uh, I'm, we're sorry. We're very sorry. <laughs> it happens. Uh, we're about two minutes away from streaming, guys. So um, if you want to just take a seat, bring some friends if you can, uh, and drop them off here, and we're going to jump right into Legions of Steel. Metallicil. Oh dear, that's no good. Yeah, it's pretty hot here too, and um, I would obviously turn the AC on in my room, but if that, if I did that, you guys would not be able to hear the stream whatsoever, um, so I'm not going to have the AC on this entire stream, so trust me, I, I will be suffering along with you, Metacil. <laughs> Alright guys, we're about to start here, about a minute away. Hey Tank, welcome aboard, man. I'm glad to see you here. We're about to get started, Tank. Um, just waiting for that 2 o'clock mark to really hit. Um, generally, if we were doing like a close combat stream, I would start a bit early. But uh, with this stream, it's a premiere to a game. So I'm going to go ahead and wait uh, for basically, you know, more people to show up until 2 o'clock exactly. Then we'll get started officially with this stream. Um, that's right. That's all we can do is soldier on. Uh, speaking of soldiers, we'll get we'll jump in here to the history of the game. I think that's kind of the first thing I want to touch on because this game actually has a really cool story and a really interesting history, uh, which is one of the reasons why I was so excited to kind of do a first look at this game um, or really a stream for Slytherin. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. Now we're at 159, so I think it's safe to say that we can probably go ahead and jump in and get started, guys. Um, not sure if you agree, but here we go. So first things first, I want to share with you kind of the storyline essentially behind Legions of Steel, all right? Now the way Legions of Steel works is somewhere in the far, far, far future, I mean, I was going to say distant future, this would not be correct, uh, but somewhere in the future, thousands of years in the future, tens of thousands of years, um, the, un the basically the entire world uh, creates an organization called the United Nations of Earth. And when they create this organization called the United Nations of Earth, they also meet um, alien races around the galaxy. Now, these alien races, not all of them are friendly, not all of them are perfect, but in general, they get along. And they especially begin to get along because, unfortunately, the machines begin to attack. And when I say the machines, very little information is known about these guys. But essentially, they're coming here to conquer the world, to conquer the universe, to kill everything. Okay, Their entire mode of attack is just to produce, uh, deploy, and kill everything in their path. So that's one interesting part of the game. And we are fighting the machines. Although, you can also play as the machines in this game. Now, I'm not going to be taking a look at the campaign because um, right now, of course, you guys know the game is still not released. So the campaign is not something I want to really show off yet, although it is really awesome. Uh, what I'm going to focus on today is skirmish mode. And in skirmish mode, you guys can actually see how this battle takes place and how these men wage war. So we're going to jump right into skirmish mode. As you can see here, I already have one set up, but I don't want to show you guys that. I want to go to a new one. We are going to take lines of fire. Um, and as you can see right here, the only real goal about this particular one is we have to exit one commando unit on the map. I think that gives you guys an idea of just how deadly these robots are. Um, let's go ahead. Let's launch into Legends of Steel. All right, first of all, uh, if you guys are hearing the music, I adore the music in this game. Very, very um, sort of dreary, uh, dark. Uh, it kind of reminds me almost of the Alien franchise. Uh, it's just very creepy. And so do the corridors here. So the idea is we're going to go ahead and place some units. Now, I am not particularly well-versed in the use of the Corporal, but I do know how to use the Trooper and the Heavy Weapon Team. So here we go, guys. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you, um, we have to take a look here at the different fire modes available. Now, as you can see here, we have everything from basic firing to automatic fire, advanced cover, suppression fire, also K-pulse grenades, and a force wall. Um, I will explain all those things little by little, but right now I'm just going to focus on movement. Um, and one important factor of this game is the fact that you can actually move your trooper uh, in different directions, and at the end of the turn, that's the direction he's going to be facing with his pulse rifle. So I'm going to go ahead and take this guy, and I think I'm going to put him over here. Now I could change his stance to run, or to walk, or even just to stationary. All of these things are going to increase or decrease his chances of hitting a target enemy. So let's go ahead and move forward here to the door. And I don't like to open doors when I don't know what's on the other side. But in this case, uh, we have this little red 
cover bonus. And what this means is that if an enemy comes into our line of sight next turn, we're going to fire off a blaster round. Now, had we already fired off a round, then we wouldn't be able to do that. But we haven't, and that's very good for us. Let's go ahead here. We're going to grab the corporal. And this guy obviously is our highest ranking guy at the moment. Very cool looking. He's got an excellent little suit of armor there to protect himself. Uh, and let's go ahead and grab the rest of these guys. Now, I can pop these guys, I believe, anywhere on these two sides of the map. So I'm going to grab some guys on this side here. Uh, let's grab the heavy weapon team. And I'm going to move him over here. And in the next turn, or very soon, we're going to get into the actual movement phases. Uh, let's go here and take our final trooper. And he can sort of back up. Actually, I'll show you guys right now. So as you can see, we're going to turn our trooper this way to the right. Because I, the enemies are likely going to be coming over here from the right side. Um, and I'm going to lock his movement. So I'm just clicking the facing lock button. And this way, he's basically unable to move from this position. Um, of course, if I can... I, at, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and move him. But I just wanted to show you guys how to lock that particular uh, setting. Now, I kind of want to blow this door open, but we don't need to. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And let's, the, let's let the machines... Uh, do their their turn. So here we go guys. These are the machines of course as you can see uh, It looks like they might have a chainsaw attached to their arm uh, But really what that is is a special form of rifle these machines can shoot they can kill and it's Often one shot kill this is not you know these machines don't mess around um, So here we go phase one command. We've got three machines on the way. Um, I already know what I'm gonna do I'm setting up for an ambush. I might also set up for some automatic fire um, and switch basically my firing mode to automatic fire over here but uh, maybe not yet maybe not yet so we're just gonna stay put I'll take this uh, second trooper here both of these guys are going to fire as soon as an enemy opens the door because they're both covering uh, let's take our corporal now, this is probably a better time to show you guys movement so we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna lock this way he's gonna stay locked to the right side um, and move forward like this and just keep things like that real simple um, I actually would open this door, but I don't have enough movement points this turn. So I'm just going to leave that closed. No biggie. Uh, and let's keep moving forward. So as you can see, we've got robots approaching. Um, and it's very hard for me not to say aliens at times. Um, because in many of these space games, it's usually aliens that you're fighting. But in this game, I, I think it's very original that they chose robots. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, man. This is the time of truth. The test of truth right here. Oh, jeez. All right, I may be able to use one of my grenades for you guys, uh, which would be pretty awesome. Here we go. Boom, we missed our shot, guys. That was our covering shot. The enemy shot, they missed. Oh, man, just two blaster rounds going past each other. Another miss by the enemy. Okay, if we're not going to get that lucky a third time. Wow. Okay. You know what? I think, I think it's all because of you guys watching. I think you guys are making me win right now uh, because that was absolute madness. Um... Let's take a look. Okay, so we actually totally got missed by shots, and this is great because now I can show you the different forms of fire. So as you can see right now, I have standard fire on. I'm going to change this to automatic fire. Why? Because we have a ton of guys in front of us, obviously. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, go ahead. We can select multiple enemy units. The difference is when we're in automatic fire mode, uh, our accuracy is less. So here we go. Let's open fire. A miss! No! Uh, I'm going to have to open fire again on the same target. All right, there we go, guys. We got our first robot kill. Um, now, I'd really like to find a way to escape the inevitable here. And I'm not sure we're going to be able to. Um, what to do, what to do. I probably should have actually used a K-Pulse grenade in this instance um, instead of opening fire. But I'm still a noob at this game, so you guys have to excuse me. So let's go ahead. We're going to try to escape. But escaping killer robots, as you probably could imagine, is not easy. Um, okay, here we go, guys. Oh, shit. I did not expect there to be a cover, um, basically robot cover here. But we just got lucky again. That that super trooper is getting extremely lucky. So let's take a look here at the um, fire options. Sadly, this particular trooper, I guess because of the fact that he's got... Um, this massive, massive gun does not have any grenades. So we're going to go ahead and select the automatic fire option. This unit right here looks terrifying. I don't know what it is, but it certainly looks like it could kill us. Um, sadly, 11% chance. That's almost not even worth it. So we're going to go ahead and fire at this guy. We killed another robot, guys. Perfect shooting here. 66%. Come on. Miss! Oh, man. I guess we're also having a bad day. Um, let's take a look. I want to stop spread firing. No. Wow. Okay, interesting. So I just discovered something for myself, guys. Um, since this is the heavy trooper, on automatic fire mode, instead of two shots, he gets three shots, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to go ahead. 
yeah, he's not going to get away from that one. And let's see if our second trooper here can open fire on this very strange looking thing. Um, I want to switch to automatic, but that's just going to lower my accuracy. So I'm just going to get a little bit closer here and see if that'll increase. 33%. I'll take that. All right, that's a miss. Unfortunate, of course. Um, and I'm probably going to move this guy up here. And the reason I'm moving this guy up here is I don't want this guy being able to kill us both in one attack. Let's go ahead, open this door. Remember, our only job here in this particular mission is to escape. That's how deadly these robots are. We just need to escape. If we can do that, we can survive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just blow this door open. I don't even want to waste movement points on trying to open it. Oh, that's a miss. Nice shooting, Corporal. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn, see what the machines will do. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, actually, he's fine. Wow. Uh, this is, He's not going to be fine now. Wow, incredible. So my guy actually has a dodge bonus there, um, and he managed to dodge. Sadly, wow, that robot just utterly slaughtered our super trooper. You could just imagine him standing there with that massive chain gun and this robotic monster of sorts coming up with this scythe. Looks like a scythe to me, and just slashing his head clean off. Um, titanium alloy armor makes no difference when you're dealing with robots. Uh, let's go ahead and turn back. Um, sadly, that's what we're going to have to do here. And it's very risky, of course, because we only have a 33% chance of hitting. But, oh no! <laughs> Please let me live, Mr. Robot. Uh, he's not going to let me live. Uh, what we can do, though, is... And I'm not sure how this is going to work. This is the first time I've actually tried this. Um, I know we get this cover bonus, but I'm not sure if we get the, um, or I should say the reactionary fire bonus. But I'm not sure we get it if there's someone standing in the way. So we'll find out. Uh, and that's going to determine whether or how we do in this particular mission. Now for this guy, probably the best thing to do is to get the hell out of here um, and set up an ambush. But me being a stubborn fool, I'm going to go ahead and turn back towards the enemy uh, and try to open fire at least once. I think it's going to be a lot easier for us to escape if we can reduce the amount of robots here. So let's go ahead. Uh, just making sure we don't have anyone else here. And man, I really don't want these guys to die. End the turn. And remember, we are in the far reaches of this robotic production facility. Um, and it is not a happy place. So there we go. The reactionary fire did work. We missed, sadly. So did the enemy, but he got to fire twice and killed our corporal. And that is one guy I did not want to lose at all. We're going to go ahead and turn around and try to open fire and kill this enemy. This thing looks terrifying. A miss. Come on, guys. We can't survive here if we're going to miss every time. Open fire on this guy, too. Pit. Beautiful. Um, and at this point, what I may try to do, be real sneaky here, is I may go ahead and try to escape with Trooper 1. Trooper 1's going to get lucky. And sadly, it looks like... Uh, Trooper 2 is going to be the sacrificial lamb for this particular game mode. So let's go ahead and turn. Now, there are many different game modes, guys. Um, I will be telling you about that throughout the stream. But one of them is Electronic Warfare. And what makes Electronic Warfare much better is it's essentially Fog of War. Uh, so you're playing the same type of game mode, but in Fog of War. Right now, we're playing an escape game mode, where we're merely trying to escape from the robotic facility without being torn to shreds by evil robots, of course course i mean what else um but there are many different game modes another one is point control and essentially or just sorry points and essentially what this is is you're just trying to get more points than the enemy you're trying to get more kills than the enemy um which is pretty cool let's go ahead and end here i want to see how quickly this machine comes running after me at breakneck speed oh he doesn't look friendly at all no 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 oh no he's right behind me i feel like i'm playing alien isolation this is terrifying um, I almost want to turn back so I get that cover bonus, and I think that's probably the best thing to do. Worst thing to, that could happen right now is us getting shot in the back, um, and at least if we set up our cover here, we have a chance at beating the enemy completely. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, I'm going to take a quick two-minute break just to take a look at the chat. I don't get to look at it because I don't have a double screen, which is unfortunate, um, but it's cool to see you guys here. Hey, D-Spores, how you doing, man? Yes, Free, there is Fog of War, um, and that's what uh, Electronic Warfare is about. We'll more than likely be able to get that uh, uploaded another or play another battle after this with Electronic Warfare. Yes, Trooper 1 Dark is in serious trouble, let's say that, uh, but he's got a chance. You know, come on, guys, have faith. You know, this guy could survive. Yes, he might have a massive robotic monster chasing him, but he's going to live, right? I, I hope so. 
Anyway, guys, uh, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and just end turn. Uh, let the behemoth robot that is chasing us go ahead and end his turn. Here we go. This is really the moment of truth. Miss. No. Death is upon us, friends. Death is upon us. Incredibly, we actually were not killed there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and since we're so close, I will go ahead and select automatic fire. Um... It's still only going to be 33%, but we at least get two shots. Two chances here. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, boy. This guy is in trouble. All right. We're going to try to run. Um, of course, like I said, running from a robot, pretty ineffective, to say the least. Um, all right. Here we go. The machine is moving. Ooh, we are getting so lucky, guys, with the actual hits. Um, but at the same time, so is the enemy. I mean, we fired at this thing numerous times, and he refuses to die. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just waste our last movement point on him. Beautiful! We got a hit. It did not kill him. This is bad. Um, so clearly, this unit is much like our heavy trooper. He could take two points of health damage. Um, and by the way, guys, I'm not sure if this is probably, this is probably obvious. There we go. We're dead. Uh, it looks like, unfortunately, the machines win there. Um, and this is probably obvious. You can play as the machines. Now, um, I've been instructed not to mess around with the machines for this particular Let's Play or this particular stream. We're just going to focus on, uh, obviously, the humans or the alien-human alliance, really. Uh, so let's go ahead back to main menu here, and we're going to jump into another skirmish match. Oh, look, I got achievements. Yay. Apparently, I'm a captain now. Um... And we're going to go ahead here and just start a new game. Uh, I will show you a different game mode. Uh, so this is just basically about scoring more points than the command or than uh, the commandos, or in this case, than the machines. Um, but I don't think you guys want to see that. That's kind of medium-sized. I want to keep it fairly simple. Bottleneck is also a score more points mission. Um, and here, we're just trying to score more points than the enemy. So let's try this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select electronic warfare mode. Some of you guys were asking about the fog of war. Uh, now, I've never played an electronic warfare mode game. So this is going to be new to me too. And I don't doubt it's going to make the game a lot harder. But let's go ahead. You guys asked for it. I'm going to give it to you. So we're going to go ahead and launch this game. All right, here we are at bottleneck, guys. All right, already a little concern. It looks like we've got four guys here. Um, and what's this? This is interesting. So this is, I guess, some sort of radar detection system. Let's see. Awesome. I think it is. Um, let's go ahead and move forward with our first trooper. And it must be, because he's actually not getting a cover fire bonus. So this this is interesting here. Um, let me take a look at it again. Radar, yes. Definitely radar. Uh, we're going to move the rest of our guys up. And so far, just the structure of this area looks kind of looks like i know what i want to do i probably want to send one trooper down this way one trooper up this way and maybe two troopers to go through the center of course there are no doors in the center in this particular map as you can see this is not a door it's just a wall so we may want to go ahead and possibly just go to the right and left or at the top and bottom whichever you choose uh and do it that way okay there we go guys let's end the turn remember this is an electronic warfare mode we cannot see the machine's movements and that is not making me feel good at all uh because i'm just expecting to see this terrifying machine pop up out of nowhere and that's probably what's going to happen if you guys listen really closely by the way um that's another interesting thing about the game you can hear the machines moving um and depending on how close they are you can sometimes determine where they are without using the actual radar. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this way. I'm going to lock the turning here. You guys will soon understand why, uh, but I definitely want to get some good cover fire on this door, and I'm also going to lock the facing lock here on this guy because he's facing to the right, and that's where I want him. I'm going to go ahead and start moving forward, and with this guy, uh, let's actually move our corporal out first, uh, or trooper three. This actually might not be a corporal. Sorry, it's just a trooper. Let's go ahead and move forward. Um, and I'm actually going to hit the facing lock button once again. I don't want this guy moving from this position. And uh, we're going to leave the door alone. As for this last guy, I'm not really sure what to do with him. I'll let you guys decide. Um, should we send him through the center, the top, or the bottom? First person to answer is what we do. How about that? Um, no hint on final price yet, Pat. Um, I haven't heard myself. If I knew, I would definitely tell you guys. Um, but I'm just not, um, 
not available. And as far as um Dark Thor, Phil, this is not available for purchase yet. I believe it will be available for purchase either on the 6th or the 16th. Um, I, I should have this information, uh, but certainly 6th or 16th. There we go. All right, Tank. Tank has decided top. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and send this second trooper to the top. I'm not going to worry about face locking him um, because, you know, he's all right. He's got cover here. Let's end the turn. I think I hear them in the south. I think I hear them beneath us, like um, sort of below our guys. I'm not 100% on that, but I think I do. Now, this is something I always forget to do every turn, but you've got to remember, hit that face lock button. It, it resets every turn, um, so you really need to keep hitting it. If I didn't hit the face lock button, essentially when I moved over here to the right, I'd be facing to the right. And you guys can imagine, that means we can't get any cover fire. I'm gonna do the same here, hit the face lock button. Um, and with this guy, we'll move forward because this guy is going to support essentially this attack. We'll face lock this guy as well. And let's make sure that we move this fellow. All right, we haven't moved him yet. Uh, now, I do want to open this door, but I'm afraid of what I'll find on the other side. That being said, this is electronic warfare mode, and if we don't take risks, we'll be utterly crushed because they're just going to come to us. We're going to have no idea where they are, and they can come from wherever they want. So we're going to have to take that risk. It's not one I enjoy. But there we go. We've done it. We're okay. Let's move on through here and let's get ready. End the turn here. Let the machines do their business. So what do you guys think so far? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys enjoying the uh, the machines? What do you guys think of the storyline? Uh, personally for me, uh, this game reminds me a lot of uh, more a real strategy game. When I, when I say real strategy game, I'm talking games like chess. Um, games like Risk, this sort of thing, this like original strategy, because you really do need to anticipate movements um, and, and sort of second guess yourself a lot in this game, which I really like. It's, it's definitely challenging. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to open this up. I see an enemy. Here we go, guys. 50% chance of fire. Nice shooting, boys. Um, and I'm actually going to be really sneaky here. I'm going to close the door um, because we don't have a second fire. Oh, man. Eh. I should have kept the door open because we could have gotten a second uh, reactionary fire with this guy. But that's okay. Mistakes are made. So that's one point for us, guys, uh, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move forward with this guy. And uh, I think we're okay here. Let's go ahead and grab this guy, too. And once again, we're going to open the door. Ooh. I don't like doing that. I just don't. It just, I don't know why. I just expect something to be on the other side. Uh, that's why electronic warfare mode is a bit creepy. All right, here we go. Oh, that was a weird sound. What was that? I hope they didn't drop some sort of uh, machine grenade of some sort. It sounds like they could have. No, oh, wow. Yes, they did throw a grenade. You guys see that? It looks like, I don't even know what it is. Some sort of shockwave, maybe, um, fog of some sort like a like a gas grenade i have no idea but they just came in rolling guys so we're gonna go ahead and try to take these guys out um i'm gonna select automatic fire mode let's go ahead select this guy for 16 percent chance that sucks miss of course 50 percent for this guy nice we got one of them we should be able to take out this second one oh i see what's going on here no 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 Come on, guys. Wish me luck. That's a miss. Try to fire a second time. Nice. Okay, guys. So, so far, we have three kills uh, to the enemy zero. So far, we're doing pretty well. Of course, this game mode is not as simple as the other one um, in which we just have to escape. In this one, we really have to score more points than the enemy. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to open this door. We're still giving that cover fire bonus, as you can see. And it looks like, wow, we may be able to fire on this guy. Beautiful. Another hit. We are doing awesome right now um a lot better than we did in the last game so there we go i'm still worried about what that cloud is there's electricity coming off it so i'm not sure i want to run through it yet i think i want to just stay put let's go ahead and end the turn definitely still more machines i thought we killed them all but we definitely didn't um and i also like how the dead machines are represented by like oil slicks whereas the dead humans are sort of uh, represented by by just dried blood uh it's very very interesting let's grab this all right we're gonna have to take the risk we're gonna have to move forward i still see nothing i'm gonna shoot this door open boom 
that's it. As you guys can imagine, we are so far in the future in this game that uh, blaster rifles, plasma rifles are so effective they could blow right through a metal door uh, with little to no problem. And that's why, I guess, it's so easy to get a kill in this game. Or, not necessarily get a kill, but when you actually hit, it always, it always kills. Um, obviously, accuracy in it is an issue, but it's still pretty awesome. Let's see what we can do with this guy. One of these guys is going to eventually have to move out of this room, um, and I think it's probably going to be this guy in the front. So let's just get ready for that eventuality uh, and hope that the enemy hasn't flanked us in some way. There we go, guys. We won. Wow. A quick victory there. Um, eight to two. Um, I'm not sure how the enemy got two points, but yeah, that was awesome. So that is electronic warfare mode for those of you asking about um, fog of war, essentially. Another thing um, that I don't think I mentioned, which is very important, is this game is going to have multiplayer. It has a multiplayer mode, obviously. It's got a hot seat mode, etc. Yes, Cell Searcher, there are definitely traps. Um, I'm pretty sure the machines have a number of different traps, as well as for the humans, the main trap is going to be that uh, reactionary fire. So basically, getting the aliens to maybe chase one of your guys, closing the door, having a guy behind him with a sort of blaster ready to go. Um, this is kind of the idea of traps in this game. Exactly, Tom, that's exactly it. Yes, a glow cloud. Oh, yes, D-Spores, that was called uh, Sovereignty Crown of Kings, um, indeed. All right, let's take a look, guys. Well, I think we definitely have time for another game mode, so I'm going to go ahead and... Why not? I'll show you guys. Uh, so we're going to jump into Skirmish. Um, let's jump here. Let's take a quick look at the Misfits. Um, so prevent Commando's objective through elimination. Uh, essentially, we have to retrieve an artifact and escape. The artifact is in the very center uh, I'll go ahead and do electronic warfare mode just because I think it's pretty fun. Uh, you guys seem to enjoy the electronic warfare. Let's jump in here and try out the misfits. Um, so as you can see, all our units start deployed on the map. We don't have to destroy the units. How many leadership points do you want to spend on an issue? Now, I have not seen this yet, so I may have to exit out and, and try something else. But let's say two. Choose the starting faction. It's going to be us, of course. We're the commandos. We always start first. Wow. Okay, as you can see, guys, this is actually... I'm really glad I showed you this. Um, this goes to show you the amount of men you can actually have on the map, um, you know, depending on the mission. In this mission, we have, can have a tremendous amount of men. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start by moving forward. And we're trying to get to that artifact, obviously. So we want to get there quickly, steal it, and get the hell out. Because the second these machines realize we're coming for it... Their only real desire is going to be to tear us into little bits. Uh, they have no emotion, obviously, they're machines, no empathy whatsoever, and all they really want to do is kill humans and colonize planets. They're kind of like humans, except they have metal skin instead of skin like ours. Uh, let's go ahead and just continue forward here, and I'm going to have to be very careful approaching because I'm expecting a nasty surprise. Come on, boys. Don't worry, I will face these guys eventually. I'm just not facing now because this is the beginning. So I don't expect any contact in this next turn. Watch a, a robot just jump out of the wall and kill one of my guys after saying that comment. But here we go. I definitely hear them getting closer. Um, and I'm guessing the artifact is going to be in this room. Or, sorry, this room right here. I can actually see it. Yes. Alright, so if... We're that close to the artifact. They're probably that close to the artifact, too. Um, once again, there's this initiative, um, which I'm not understanding. This is something I, I have not actually taken a look at yet. Uh, but I think it essentially just means that we get to choose who starts the turn, which is kind of cool, uh, based on a roll. All right, let's take a look here. And this looked like a door. Um, is it? I think it is, yeah. We're going to go ahead and open this door. All right, not enough movement points to open the door. So we're going to send one guy to this door. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy this way. I will movement lock him. And I'm going to send him to cover this door. This guy, he doesn't really need to cover anything. Uh, just needs to go ahead and open this next door so that we can move towards the artifact. So let's do that. And again, I am not using facing properly in this battle, primarily because we have so many guys. I'm really just trying to um, get our men close to the artifact quickly, grab it, and run. Uh, sort of like capture the flag. In fact, I think this game mode, that's exactly what it reminds me of. Sort of a capture the flag game mode. Uh, let's see. 
Fire. I'm gonna open that door with a gunshot, but oh well. Let's go ahead and just open it. I'm so American. It's the 4th of July. I just want to take my guns and shoot doors open. I mean, yeah, it's fun. What can I say? Um, so here we go. We're going to keep moving. Now, these guys are going to go up here to the north. And again, eliminating doors is sometimes a good idea because you don't have to waste movement points opening them. So I'm not just being mindless and crazy. I'm actually trying to reduce the amount of movement points for our troops. Let's go ahead and we'll send one guy this way. This guy, he can go ahead and start moving up on the right side. And let's end the turn. Guessing we're going to be coming into contact with machines very soon now. I don't like those sounds, it's scary. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm, I know, I'm only playing Electronic Warfare for you guys. I would not play it alone. Um, I hate games that surprise you, like make you jump. I mean, obviously I think it's awesome in a game like this, uh, but the Electronic Warfare mode is creepy to say the least. I'm not gonna spend any points on initiative this time. So I guess that's a bonus um, as well as our role. Uh, so yeah, that makes sense. Um, and the machines are going to take the next turn Oh, I don't like that. I hear doors opening, and they sound very close. No! Oh man, there's so many robotic legs moving. <laughs> this, is, this is when I would be like, you know what guys, let's just get back on the spaceship. Forget this, you know, let's just let the machines rule the galaxy. I mean, what really can we do? Alright, let's open up here. There we go, we've got machines on the other side, reactionary fire from them. Incredibly, they actually missed, um, made us very lucky. I'm gonna go ahead and open fire on the big guy here. You guys know this from last game, and that is unfortunate. Um, we did not hit him, but we get a second shot here. Uh, we're not in automatic fire mode, but this is a special trooper with a heavy weapon, so he gets two shots. Uh, I'm gonna actually fire on the smaller robot, and two misses. Things can't get that much worse. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and close the door here. And I'm going to move this guy up, and I want, to, I want to show you guys what I'm going to do. As you can see, we have the covering fire. You guys were talking about traps. Uh, the guy that was talking about traps, watch this. So as you can see, the enemy thinks that our guy is here. They're going to come and try to kill this guy. We're going to go ahead, we're going to open this door up, okay? Now this door's open, and this guy's on ambush mode. So the second these guys run through here and try to take this guy on, this guy's going to open fire and hopefully destroy them. Um, let's go ahead and turn this guy this way. I'm going to do the movement lock. And now we have two guys ready for an ambush, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and keep moving forward. I'm also going to try to get the third guy, but I don't think he's going to have enough movement points to set up in time. Um, still, we can set him up next turn. So we'll go ahead and use him then. And a lot of the times, I just like to let the enemy come to me. Uh, that seems to work pretty well. I'm going to open this door. Nobody there. We're going to have to open these doors whether we want to or not. I, I don't like it any more than you guys do having to uh, open the door and, and maybe see a machine on the other side that's going to kill us. But, you know, you've got to be proactive and we've got to get that artifact. The enemy doesn't need to get the artifact. They just need to defend it. All right, let's take a look. Uh, make sure that I got everybody where I want them. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that at all. All right, well, that's okay. Um, it's not in the area where we're ambushing anyway. And so with these guys, let's see, we'll start actually moving them down the left side. I probably should have done that before, to be honest with you. And let's see if our ambush will work. Now remember, the AI in this game is pretty good. Um, and it's possible they may anticipate that we have a little trap set up. But then again, they may not. So let's see. Uh, they also might shoot sooner than us. I'll just go ahead and use zero. The enemy's going to take the first turn, of course. Oh, we've got another monster on the way, and this guy, oh, wow, yes, we've got one trooper down for sure. Um, that is not pretty at all. And it looks like these aliens, as far as I could tell, over here on the left side did not take our bait. Yes, they did! One hit, another hit, two hits, and we destroyed that thing. Awesome. And as you guys know, that alien was one of those behemoths um, that really, really knows how to kill, uh, to put it put it simply. So there we go. We got three aliens trapped in this room. There's no reason why we can't take control of this situation and utterly annihilate these guys. Uh, so we're going to go, go head to phase two commandos. Um, and I'm actually going to jump into the tactical menu and I'm going to try to throw a K-pulse grenade, guys. So this should be able to help us big time. Let's throw that grenade. Open fire. Boom. 
All right, we hit one of them, missed two. That's still pretty good, right? Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to see if we can throw another K pulse. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to throw it past these guys, but let's go ahead anyway. Dispersion and two misses. Wow, okay, that's not good. Uh, what we are going to do, we'll open this door here. I don't believe the enemy has reactionary fire, although apparently they do. Wow. Okay, we just got really lucky. We just got really, really lucky. Go ahead, open fire. Okay, nice. A hit on that robot. Uh, and I guess we get a second shot. That's awesome. Another hit, too. I wish I could close the door, and I think I can. Perfect. Um, this is also great because now we can use this unit as an ambusher. Of course, we're going to lock move him. And he's a corporal, so he should be able to get some really nice shots. Uh, and we'll do the same with this guy. Sadly, these guys have already used their movement points, so they can't actually ambush this turn. So I'm going to close that door, close off that door to the nightmares ahead, um, and worry about this next crew here. Let's keep moving forward. Yes, Java, AI is strong in this game, man. Um, I was very surprised. All right, let's see. Uh, so I think we're more or less good. Let's end our turn. See what these machines do. Commandos. This time I'm actually going to go ahead and spend some leadership points. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, machines. For goodness sake, let me play every now and again. All right, so here we go. The machines are moving through. Um, we're getting very lucky. This trooper, I don't know what's going on with him. Apparently, he's, he's, he's the... Uh, the messiah or something i don't know but he just seems to survive everything and there you go as you can see um our reactionary fire killed that a robot which is awesome despite him taking out one of our buddies but sadly this guy is also going down um and like i said these robots are efficient you guys that are saying that the ai of the machines is is very good you're not wrong um you're not wrong at all i mean i have been tricked many times uh, i'm gonna go ahead and I believe since this guy's a heavy trooper, he already gets two shots. There we go. Kill the first guy. And look at that. I make mistakes too. I was wrong. He does not get two shots as a heavy trooper. Um, but what we are going to do, we're going to move him up this way. We're going to go ahead and move this fellow down this way. And this way he will react if the machine comes and chases us. And if you can, you guys just see the movement of the machine. It's really creepy. It's His head is moving just left and right. Um, it sort of reminds me of like the creatures at Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, it's just how quickly they could just clamp onto your head and just tear it off. Let's go ahead, open fire. We missed. I didn't expect to miss. And this is where we're definitely going to have to choose automatic fire. We could also use force wall grenades, but I'm going to actually save that for a video, which we will be uploading to the Solarian main channel very, very soon um, on the use of grenades and things like this in the game so i'm gonna go ahead and hope that beautiful automatic fire is working so far two hits hey guys that's pretty awesome we got two hits on these guys i um, definitely gonna close the door because we don't have any sort of reactionary fire uh and let's keep this door open although i worry if we open it the enemy's gonna open fire on us immediately so let's not let's not open the door yeah let's not do that um uh, it's for these guys we could try to flank the enemy keep moving forward boom all right, we don't have enough movement points to open the door. Uh, I would have liked to just because we would have still had the reactionary fire bonus. So I may still try to shoot it open. All right, we missed. It's all right. We're still going to try to open it again. Miss. Yeah, 16%. It's, there's no way you're going to get that. All right, for this, let's go ahead. We'll throw away the rest of our movement points since we're getting close to the end of the stream anyway. So I'm going to try to grab that artifact quickly. And this time, we get to move first, which is awesome. Um, let's see. All right, we can open fire again on this guy. We definitely want to do that. 66%. Miss! Come on! We've got to send these guys back to military training school. This is, this is no good, um, in terms of the troopers. They need to fight better. All right, let's go ahead. So, um, I want to keep this door open. And, unfortunately, we're going to probably take on shots when we do. Yeah, I expected that. Um, but I think it's a worthwhile risk. So, let's go ahead. We're going to open fire on this guy. Miss! And that thing looks like a dangerous... Oh, that's the spread fire. We're going to go ahead and fire again with the spread fire. So sort of like a shotgun type blast. Massive weapon there. Uh, let's go ahead and move forward. Now, this, ain't, this is not the smartest idea. I'm basically facing to the left of where the aliens, or excuse me, not the aliens, the machines are definitely going to be attacking from. 
Um, or more than likely going to be attacking from anyway. But you got to take risks, right? So we're going to go ahead and do that and uh, take risks on this side as well. Um, as for this trooper, he's already moved. It's, his life expectancy seems pretty short, especially with a, a machine directly behind him. But you never know. Uh, in this game, anything can happen. Let's go ahead and open up this door. All right, I'm going to keep moving forward. And this is interesting. Wow. I, I'm wondering if the enemy left uh, their left side pardon the pun, uh, completely unguarded, and we may be able to sneak in and grab the artifact there. Let's keep moving. We only have four turns left. I don't even think we have enough turns to get back to base. Uh, so at this point, let's move forward a little bit. And this turn. All right, there we go. They're using their sort of fog of war grenade again. Sadly, they killed that trooper. I anticipated him getting killed, but his buddy did get some reactionary fire, killing the assailant here. Um, and let's go ahead. We'll throw one leadership point here. This just boosts our roll by one, I'm guessing. Uh, and this means we get the initiative. All right, so we'll go ahead and start fire. And some people are asking, like, why would you choose um, machines in this turn? If you've got some great ambushes set up, choosing machines is probably a good idea um, when you roll like that. So, I, you know, if there are reasons to choose machines for sure. Uh, let's go take a look here. Open the door. What's on the other side? Ah! <laughs> no! No! Okay, I'm glad that both of them didn't fire. Let's go ahead and select uh, automatic fire. And I'm not sure if I have enough movement points to fire twice. I do believe I do. Um, or action points, I should say. Let's go ahead and open fire at this guy. Two misses. Man, are you just trying to get killed, really? All right, let's go ahead. We're facing this way. I'm going to go ahead and movement lock uh, so that he's stuck in this in this direction, essentially. And this guy, yeah, his life expectancy looks pretty low, to say the least. We don't even have any grenades that we can use, uh, so that's out of, out of the question. Let's go ahead and move forward. And this time, um, I've, I've never actually seen what this smoke does. So since we're getting to the end of the stream, I'm going to run right in the middle of it um, and see if it has any effect. I think it's just a sort of way of hiding the enemy, lowering our accuracy, etc. But I can't be certain. So we'll soon discover why. Let's go ahead, open this door. Move the rest of these guys up. I don't think I've also shown you guys the movement abilities. Uh, like, for instance, if I select down here in the lower left, I can change from a run to a walk to static. If you remain static and fire, your your percentage of hitting the enemy, I think, goes up to like 75%. It's really, really good. But you need to make sure you're in a position where you can spot an enemy troop and that you can open fire. Um, let's go ahead and start running. You can see he's really trying to get out of here. Um, and we will end the turn. We're so close to that artifact, but I don't expect we'll get there. Beautiful! It looks like the heavy trooper managed to kill that first machine. Sadly, he died in the ensuing defense. Um, and we really need to win this initiative fight right here. And it looks like we are going to be able to go first, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to try to kill this guy, obviously. Let's go, go ahead this way. Open fire. 50%, come on. That's, that's pretty good odds. Nice. Beautiful. We got one, guys. Um, wow, we actually got a victory. Great. So the whole reason we got a victory there was just because we killed the enemy team. Um, we never grabbed the artifact. We just killed the enemy, which is pretty awesome. Um, machines automatically win at the end of turn 10, but this is only if they're not all destroyed. This really leaves a lot of options open for multiplayer, which, like I said, is available in the game. Uh, and if you're playing against someone, you're... you're you could be damn sure they're going to keep one of their machines behind uh, just to make it harder for you to win. Because you not only have to pick that artifact up, you have to carry it back to the escape pod and get off the planet. Or in this case, get out of the machine's uh, industrial building facilities. Which is really where we're fighting in these battles. Um, so anyway guys, let me know. What do you guys think so far of the game? Um, as you can see, this is the stats afterwards. You can kind of see the amount of shots hit, the amount of shots missed. It looks like the enemy had a lot of missed shots, which probably cost them the game. We also had a lot of initiative wins on the rolls, which really helped us. Um, but nonetheless, very, very cool there. I'm going to jump back to main menu. Yeah, electronic warfare mode just, is just scary. It's, uh, it's really great, but it's terrifying to me. Um, so anyway guys awesome yes the doors the doors won indeed so anyway guys i'm just going to do a quick q a here um listen to your opinions etc um 
Oh, thank you so much, Self Searcher. I'm actually just a, um, a streamer for Slither, and I'm not actually a developer. I wish I was, um, but mainly what I do is stream games like this, Close Combat, for those of you guys that have seen me there. Um, Sovereignty Crown of Kings I also did, and I have a YouTube channel. Um, I'll actually post it right here. Well, you could just type in a YouTube, my name, obviously. Uh, right there like that and you guys for those of you that have not seen my youtube channel I do a lot of strategy games um, All sorts of different strategy games a lot of Slytherin titles obviously um, I do work with Slytherin so I absolutely love their games too and yes I definitely have played Waterloo uh, Scourge of War um, Awesome 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 game uh, Oh thanks Tom I appreciate it man yeah, guys, so um, I, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys think this this looks like a winner? Um, I'm really liking it. I think the, um, I, I will be honest, I, it's this is a game that was based off an 80s board game. And what they've managed to do, this French company, Nyx, um, has essentially brought it back to life um, and managed to really, really make an awesome game from what was just a board game. So I think um, this is going to be something that appeals certainly to like the mainstream strat or not the mainstream strategy gamer, but sort of the niche strategy gamer, um, especially a lot of you guys that like Slytherin. You know, we focus entirely on on simulation strategy, historical strategy, niche strategy, you name it. We don't play the mainstream stuff. You know, it's just most of us don't anyway. Um, so this is a winner for me. I think tactically, um, despite Despite its simple nature, it's got a really, really deep ability of, of tactical usage, ambushes, etc. Especially if you're playing against somebody, this game reminds me a lot of chess. Um, a game like chess, you know, where you really have to anticipate an enemy's moves and decide, is he going to move there this turn or maybe not? Um, well, let me take the risk. Uh, yes, thank you so much, Firefly. And um, awesome self-searcher. Yes, and trust me, Self Searcher, with a game like Scourge of War, man, um, I, even I, I have a few videos up on the channel, uh, and even I am not very good. It takes a while, it really does take a while to master a game like that. Um, as far as Combat Mission, it's not a Slytherin uh, game, but that's one game that it took me about two, three months to really master the, the gameplay style, and I'm still not very good. And Scourge of War is very, very similar. Yes, that is the link. Thank you for dropping the link, Currydo. That is definitely the link. Um, as far as release, I'm not really sure, man. I think for sure it's coming out very soon, Legions of Steel. Um, I think it's either the 6th, which would be two days from now, or the 16th. Uh, the fact that I don't know this is, is probably frustrating to you, but it's just as frustrating to me. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the 16th. Uh, it may be in two days. It may be the 6th. It may be a very, very... Um, soon release. The release may be very soon. Um, keep in mind, guys, I'm, you know, if you haven't checked out my channel, make sure to head there. I'm going to be putting a few more Legions of Steel videos up for the uh, Slytherin channel, and next week, we are going to be coming back with another Legions of Steel stream. This time, though, we're going to be playing as the machines. Uh, those terrifying machines. We're going to run around and try to tear the humans to shreds. Uh, so I hope you guys will visit me and join me there. I want to really thank you for showing up to this stream, and I sincerely hope you guys uh, we'll go ahead and be here for the next stream as well. Uh, I really like having you guys here, your support, and uh, obviously Slytherin appreciates your support too. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and have an awesome, awesome day.